Welcome back to Mario's Time Machine. Are you ready for another educational adventure? I am. Going to Florence. Florence. Oh shit, are we gonna look at, are we gonna meet my, my best friendo, Lorenzo Medici? One of the most versatile, wait. No. <laughs> we going Wait, I thought we did this. No, we didn't do, we didn't see I thought we Medici. helped Lorenzo Leonardo. Oh no, we no, helped. we helped uh, the, the other one. Isaac N Newton. Yeah. Isaac Fink Newton. Um, Isaac Fink Newtons. Alright, so Florence. 1505. 1505. It's time to go to Florence, 1505, not Vienna, not Philadelphia, Philadelphia Maine, not, Maine's, not Calcutta, Calcutta, not Alexandria, not London, not, London, not Orleans, not, not Menlo Park, Park, not Stratford, not Athens, not Cambridge, not Florence, not Gobi Desert, not the Pacific, not Florence, not Florence Desert, but Florence! <laughs> Oh, fuck. Hold on a second. It's 1505. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> I knew you were going to forget. <laughs> oh, damn it. 1505? Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. I am oh God. surfing on a thing. Damn, I was, I was hoping I, I could do like a little I am surfing through the waters of time. We're surfing the time. We're surfing through also time. Wow. All these mushrooms turn invisible, so they're impossible to get. I cannot eat them. <laughs> yeah, like some of them just disappear. And some of them just uh, they don't. They just stay. Like they're, pro like they're programmed to, like they're doing their. Oh, boy, dee -dee 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 -dee. I wonder who came up with the idea of just like getting all this shit to. Uh, who came Florida. up with the idea to have Mario travel through time By and then have it be a fucking educational game? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I guess the same person that thought that giving Luigi his first game being an educational game be a good idea. Oh, I thought his first game was Luigi's Mansion. No, his first game was Mario's Missing. Oh, you could. Oh that. shit! <laughs> right, we've got to find another. Can I, can I take another one? Just for the you just, show. You just right. take as many as you want, but you know. <laughs> now we're in Florence, Whoa. 1505. Whoa, that plumber just got sucked up by that vortex. Oh man! Hi, I'm trying to return this notebook. Come in, little man, and marvel at the works of Michelangelo. I am the greatest sculptor of the Renaissance, if I do say so myself. And I do! Oh, so this is Michelangelo? He looks nothing like the ones in the cartoons. This isn't Ninja Turtles. He's Michelangelo. Wake up! For the last 1,000 years, Europe's been artistically and intellectually asleep. Now our civilization is having a rebirth! I'm a hungry! Renaissance. Let's order some pizza! Let's go get some pizza! So, <laughs> you read my mind. <laughs> so, who's the greatest artist around? You dare ask? There are none to compare with me. That is, well, except maybe Leonardo. But he, <laughs> but he wastes his time with inventions, science, and engineering. Really? Leonardo sounds impressive. Bah! He's so preoccupied that he creates few works of art. But those few... Enough of him! I created La Pieta! A cr I created the giant David for Florence! Now I need to test a new type of fresco. A new type? I'd like to know some more. No! Go away! I need to find some plaster. Plaster, you say? Well, I'll see ya. Plaster your ass all over the pavement. Hey, is this... Can I find Etsy Auditory here? Complete history book. Excuse me, I'm lost. Do you have a minute? I can't even choose it. No. No, no, not now. My book of notes has vanished and I can't concentrate on my painting of Lady Jocondo. But that, that looks like Mona Lisa. It is Mona Lisa. That's her real name. Hi! Is that Kakyoin? Oh my god, it is! Hi, <laughs> Rafetagri! This is the old workshop of Verrocchio. 
the master artist. One day I hope to be a master like he was, but right now I'm just an apprentice. <laughs> what does an apprentice do? <laughs> I work for free in the master shop and learn the skills of an artist. It's a great opportunity for a young man. Leonardo da Vinci was an apprentice here, but look how far he's gone. Maybe you could help me, I have this book. I'm sorry, but I'm very busy. The master wants me to deliver this bucket of plaster to Michelangelo. If you would like to take it for me, I'll have more time to talk. Grazie. <laughs> Don't you be speaking French to me. That's not French. I know. <laughs> Mario, that's your native language. Hey, bro, I got your plaster. Grazie! I've just been asked by Pope Julius II to paint an entire ceiling of frescoes in Rome's Sistine Chapel. Everyone knows I wish only to sculpt, but the Pope is a very important patron. That's not how you say person. A patron is someone with money who hires an artist to create a work of art. Without patrons, we'd all be starving. I, please, <laughs> please, become a patron. <laughs> Subscribe to my Patreon. <laughs> Wait, a patron is someone with, that works with money? Oh, okay, okay. Do you know Lady Giocondo? Wow, you don't sound like Mario at all. Oh! Ah, Mona Lisa. <laughs> certo. What a charming smile. She was here this morning, but she forgot her mirror when she left. Did you return it to her? Grazie. Her? Yeah. Hang Mona, on, hang on Mo a second. Mona Lisa is a woman. But do we actually have to find Mona Lisa? Oh, sh Oh, what? Oh. Say, who's over in that art studio? Which one? Leonardo da Vinci's or Michelangelo Buonarotti's? They're both here in Florence working on, among other things, a pair of paintings depicting the war with the city of Pisa. I don't Tell know me why about I'm this Russian. Leonardo da Vinci. Yeah, he's, you've been sounding a little Russian. <laughs> he studied here in Florence as a boy, but he was born in the little village of Vinci. That's where he gets his name. Leonardo from Vinci, you'll see. But everyone just calls him Leonardo. Hmm, what about Michelangelo? He is the greatest sculptor of the age, and only 30 years old, but he's just a bambino compared to Leonardo. In fact, Leonardo will take 53 week on April 50th. Hmm, maybe I'd like to... Maybe he'd like this book for his birthday. Let's see it. These are very fine drawings, but I can't read the notes. Very strange. I believe it was all written backwards, but I am just an old fresco painter. My eyes aren't so good anymore. Oh shit, he needs... Fresco? What's a fresco? Frescoes are the most beautiful art. They are created by painting on wet plaster. When it dries, the painting becomes part of what it was painted on. Leonardo experiments with them frequently. What are Leonardo's frescoes like? His most famous is his <clears throat> Last Supper in Milan. It's one of the greatest paintings of all time. Che bella. Too bad, really. What's too bad? Ah, it's a tragedy. Such a beautiful painting, and now it's flaking off the wall. That's new plaster he was testing failed. But there's Leonardo for you. Always experimenting. Yeah, he actually has a painting where he tried to... He, gla he glazed over it with, like, this, uh, this substance. I, I forget what it was. But, uh, because of that, over time, it turned his painting orange. Oh. Like, the whole thing is orange. That's... But different shades of orange. So you can still see it, it's just orange. That's sad. We should have went back in time to help him. Yeah, right. <laughs> what else does he do? What doesn't he do? He's a musician, an architect, and don't tell Michelangelo, but he's a sculptor too. I always love to hear about Leonardo's new ideas. He's have you seen any? He's much, much better than Mozart. What else does he do? I didn't know he was a musician. What doesn't he do? Oh, wait, we already did that. Yes, he um, is a musician. What do you have? Oops. Uh, oh, wait. Do you have any other item? I'm on his mirror. You are two kinds in your eye, I can't accept. Alright, well, yeah. We'll see who needs it. I think it's this person that needs it over here. This shiza. You are two kinds in your eye. Why does Michelangelo need plaster? I hear he's just gonna paint a fresco on a chapel ceiling, just as Leonardo painted it. The Last Supper on a chapel wall. The old fresco painter next door knows all about it. Oh, is that the is is that when he like paints in that huge fucking chapel where like yeah. it's it's the guy I forget what it's called. It's uh Bertha Man. Bertha Man, there we go. That guy, it's Adam. Well, I wasn't sure if it was Adam. Yeah, it's Adam. Uh, did, it's Adam know, and God. Do you know who owns this notebook? Let's see. The writing looks all backward. 
I'll bet whoever wrote this wanted to keep it a secret. Oh, now I can read your notebook. It's full of marvelous descriptions of flying machines, underwater boats, and mechanisms of war, which I say are at least 500 years ahead of their time. And a strange dagger that could go th that could go into your hand, and it comes out when you do the cool gang sign. Oh shit! Who could have created such a wonderful notebook? It is such a very terrible weapon. You know, I saw a drawing like this in here the other day. See, it's a picture of a flying machine. Please take it. Who left this drawing here? It was, it was, I can't remember. Perhaps if I could see one more of this example of this artist's remarkable skill, I could remember who created these drawings. Oh. Oh no, that is a wonderful book of drawings. It must belong to a master. Well, I guess you're useless. Then. You have a picture of a flying machine. What's this? A flying machine? Fantastico! Leonardo knows everything. No wonder he's called a Renaissance man. Here you may take this drawing of his geometrically ideal men. What's Leonardo working on now? He's now painting a beautiful portrait of Lady Giocondo. What's her name again? Ah, never mind. Michelangelo knows. Alright. Give him oh, his fuck. fucking thing of a penis. Oh. No, not that one. Uh... Nah, he doesn't need it. He's already a good sculptor. Not as good as Leo. The ideal man thing is pretty interesting. Leonardo da Vinci was actually obsessed with math. And what ideal man is, is it's calculations of how people's proportions are. Like, it, it says stuff like, oh, your foot is one-sixth of your height. Uh, the size of your hand is actually one-tenth of your height. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Yeah. And apparently, according to that, uh, from your f the top of your forehead, like your hairline, uh -huh. to the bottom of your chin, is the same, on an ideal man, would be the same size as your hand. That actually goes in line with the joke, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's probably where it came from. Also, another cool thing with anatomy. Uh, your forearm... I think it's your forearm is the same size as your foot. I don't believe that. No way. Alright, maybe I could kind of believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I need See? to do a little bit more yoga. That's insane. Yep. Alright, anyway. It's starting to come back to me. This is the work of a scientist, inventor, engineer, and master artist. Someone who frequently asked us to produce models of his drawings. I've got it! Who? Who is it? Leonardo da Vinci! <laughs> he must have misplaced his precious notebooks! Signor Mario, these must be returned immediately. Leonardo can't work without them. Can you tell me anything more? No! <laughs> All right, cool, cool. I think we've done everything we can. Okay. One of the most versatile geniuses in the world, Leonardo da Vinci, took his name from the village of uh, Britain. No, Vinci. Of uh, Britain, <laughs> where he was born on April fifteenth. Oh fuck! I forgot. Do you, do you know? You're no. no. All right. Well, it's obviously before fifteen. Well, he's fifty. Th okay, he's fifty-three. So fourteen fifty-two. Bam. He lived he during, during the, the period, period of, of artistic, artistic and intellectual... And intellectual re not autistic, artistic. Shit. <laughs> and intellectual reawakening called the... Astronomy. No, that's yes. science. Christmas. <laughs> called Christmas. Oh my gosh, called, it's Christmas. Called Frieza Day. <laughs> Leonardo apprenticed as a painter in... Oh, wait, I forget. It was a Gobi? It was right here. Was it here? Yeah. And later worked in Milan and Rome. He was employed by a series of wealthy... What are they called? They're over... Hang on a second. Patron, 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 patron. And his interest extended into painting. Leonardo was also a sculptor, blank engineer, musician, scientist, and inventor. What's missing? A perfect example of a... Renaissance man. His famous notebooks used. Oh. How did he write it? 
GPUs and uh, mirrors. Well, reflecting there we go. Uh uh. No. Well, think about it. If you need a mirror to write it, how is it written? Or if you need a mirror to read it, how is it written? Crooked. Nope. There you go. <laughs> Uh, his sketches included hang gliders, helicopters, parachutes, tanks, machine guns, submarines, and diving gear. Leonardo and you tank missiles. Blank of the Last Supper. What, what's the Last Supper? It was a sculpture. No, it was not. Well, wasn't it like sculpted and then painted on? Yeah. What is that called? Oh, it was a sculpture. This. And his portrait of. Wait, no, it wasn't Mona Lisa. What was it? Yes, called? it was. You passed it. No, but I thought it was called the other thing. No, no, Lady like, Giocondo is her real name. Yeah, so it's a portrait of Gio the Lady Giocondo. Yeah, but it, it's putting it in quotes. Uh, and it says also known as La Giocondo. And now you're done. Cool. Let's go give it back. Yo, Leo! <laughs> I got a delivery, <laughs> but it's not DiGiorno. It's not. It's not DiGiorno! <laughs> oh, grazie, Mario! Now I can finish these product of Mona Lisa! I should have known I could count on a fellow Italian. Call me Leo! No offense, but shouldn't Mona Lisa be smiling? She is smiling. See? A subtle, enigmatic smile. People will wonder what that smile means for centuries. And that is exactly what I want them to do, Mario. To behold my work and wonder. I don't care. <laughs> oh! I don't think... <laughs> I don't care! Uh, oh. Well, oh. I guess I'll just go and get some oatmeal. I'm go- <laughs> I'm just going to fap to it. It gives me an erection. Besides, my attention doesn't go to her smile, but to her beautiful hands. Oh god. <coughs> Let's right. get the fuck out of here! Bites the dust! Kira Queen. <laughs> My Kira Queen. <laughs> oh, oh shit, I have to press it again. And we're gonna see you guys in the next episode for the final item in this level. <laughs> in this uh world. Later! Later. <laughs>